Gun Boss Games! <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gin here with another League of Legends champion guide for you. Today, I am excited to share with you something both old and new. A remake. A champion reborn. Arising from the ashes of his former squalor like a phoenix. A phoenix with a giant brain! This is Heimerdinger, the revered inventor. Prepare to raise your dongers once more. It's time to learn how to Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger is an ability power based mage focused more on controlling space and supporting his allies than he is on bursting down single targets. He excels in the mid and top lane and can even moonlight as a strange sort of support if you so choose. He brings crowd control, regeneration for his allies, and lots of area damage all laid out in a variety of useful tools he's made himself. The inventor's passive is Techmaturgical Repair Bots. These little nanobots he's made grant himself, nearby evolution turrets, and nearby allied champions bonus health regeneration. Because of this ability, Heimerdinger has no base health regeneration of his own, and its growth is quite low. This creates an amusing dichotomy, as without the ability, he has the lowest base and max health regeneration in the game, but with it, he has the highest for both. This gives the Dinger quite a lot of sustain, allowing him to survive early poke and stay in lane for quite a long while, as well as helping all his allies in a fight without doing a thing. Heimer's Q is easily his signature move, and his most complicated. When used, Heimerdinger places an H28G evolution turret. Heimerdinger can have up to three turrets out at any given time, and deploying a fourth will destroy the oldest one. Placing a turret is on a mere one second cooldown, but the ability runs on an ammo system, much like Teemo's traps or Corky's missiles. Every several seconds, Heimerdinger will store enough parts to create a new turret, which is affected by cooldown. You can see how many turret kits Heimer has available to place by looking at the small cogs that float around him, or it's on your buff bar. How many you can store depends on the ability's level, as does its damage. Speaking of damage, these turrets have two attacks, a short-ranged basic attack and a long-ranged laser beam. The turret will, if able, constantly fire basic attacks at anything within range. The laser attacks have a charge time, as seen beneath their health bars. At 100% charge, the turret will fire its laser as a straight-line skill shot dealing damage to all targets it passes through. The laser will always try to target champions if possible, and turrets in general will try to focus their fire on whatever Heimerdinger is attacking personally, or whatever is dealing damage to him. Furthermore, a turret will start with 80% laser charge when you place it, and the length of time to charge a laser is also affected by cooldown reduction. If Heimerdinger walks too far away from his turrets, or dies, they will start to get lonely and after 8 seconds, they will shut themselves off out of depression, losing all laser charge. If they're still around, his turrets will start themselves back up as soon as Heimerdinger reappears, ready to fight once more. Offline turrets will also grant vision, albeit less than normal. This makes them work great as free wards. There's a lot more that can be said about Heimerdinger's evolution turrets, but his other abilities deserve some love too, so we'll come back to them later. Where he hides all his items, I don't know, but Heimerdinger apparently has a secret backpack, especially full of Hextech micro rockets. For his W, Heimerdinger releases a barrage of five missiles that each deal magic damage. They fire outward from his back and converge upon whatever spot you target with your cursor. Beyond that point, they will fan out up to the maximum range of the ability. As such, this ability can hit up to five targets, or just one. If more than one rocket hits a target, each rocket beyond the first will deal only 20% normal damage. In addition, minions take generally reduced damage. Hextech Micro Rockets is a difficult skill to get used to, especially as you don't necessarily want to aim directly at your intended target. If you can master it though, it'll be well worth it, letting you hit enemies you'd never think you could before. One neat trick to note is that because the rockets are separate entities as far as the game is concerned, if one hits and kills an enemy, say a minion, all the others that would have hit will continue onward instead. You can use this to your advantage to poke your enemies when they don't expect you to. Simply aim your missiles through a minion you know will die directly toward your enemy for some surprise damage. Our little king of swaggers E is the CH1 Electron Storm Grenade. 
He hurls a grenade to a target location, whereupon it deals magic damage, slowing enemies it hits in the area and stunning those directly struck by the grenade. This is the source of most of Heimerdinger's crowd control, and perhaps the most evil thing he can do to melee champions. Getting pounced on inside your turret nest? Why run? Simply throw a grenade in their face to stun them and watch your turrets do the work for you. Lastly, the Revered Inventor's ultimate is Upgrade! And yes, the three exclamation points are 100% necessary. As the name implies, it makes everything better. When activated, it empowers his next basic ability and makes it free to cast. After a few seconds, if he doesn't use one of these upgraded abilities, he can just hit the button again to cancel it for no cost at all. Each of these empowered abilities is awesome in its own right, and is useful in different situations. Furthermore, its damage is based on the level of upgrade, not the base ability, so the ability can be super powerful even if you haven't spent all your points boosting it up. It's important to note these upgraded abilities do not have separate cooldowns from the normal ones, so if you very recently used a grenade, for example, you won't be dropping the souped-up version immediately after. The exception, of course, is Q, as the cooldown on that is virtually non-existent anyway. Heimerdinger places a massive H28Q Apex turret that lasts for 8 seconds. This acts like any other turret, except it deals a ton more damage, slows, causes splash damage on its basic attacks, and the lasers take half as long to charge. The Apex turret does not count toward your turret limit, or indeed affect your turret reserves in any way, so you can have up to 4 turrets out, except this one is about as powerful as the other three combined. Use this ult for prolonged engagements in a small area, especially defending or sieging a turret, or fighting over big objectives like Baron or Dragon. With his empowered W, Heimerdinger takes the words Macross Missile Madness to heart. The Hextech Rocket Swarm fires four waves of rockets very quickly for a total of 20 rockets. This is Heimer's biggest source of single target burst damage, letting him chunk down most enemies from half health to basically nothing or dead. It's important to note that while Heimer may keep moving while these rockets are firing, the waves will continue to shoot at the same distance and angle as when they started, requiring that you might need to keep moving to hit your enemies properly. Note that these can of course be fanned out as well and allow you to chunk down more than one enemy at once if you do it right. Finally, his E can become the CH3X Lightning Grenade. He hurls his grenade as normal, but it will bounce up to three times, discharging each time. The slow is increased to 80%, and the area of the effect is larger. Though an enemy can only be damaged once by the grenade, they can be slowed and even stunned multiple times if circumstances allow it. This is an amazing tool for engaging on the enemy team, especially those that are running away or trying to engage on you. Simply toss a lightning grenade into the fray and let your allies do all the work. <sighs> oh, we're done with abilities? Finally! On to runes, where I take magic penetration marks, mana regeneration per level seals, ability power per level glyphs, and flat ability power quintessences. The ability power and penetration are all fairly standard for casters, but rather than make them all flat for early burst or scale excessively into the late game, this sort of middle of the road approach gives Heimer some fairly strong stats while he constantly whittles the enemy down. The mana regeneration will help him throughout the game. Heimerdinger is nowhere near as mana-hungry as he used to be, especially with turrets only costing 20 mana now. I find that with these runes, our donger will generally have no need to buy any specific mana item whatsoever. If your enemies in lane are particularly strong against you, Ziggs for example, you might consider trading your glyphs out for flat magic resist or those seals for armor against Zed or something. As for masteries, I prefer to take 2190 making sure to grab Exposed Weakness and Arcane Blade in the offense tree. While most of this is self-explanatory, these two are particularly useful for Heimerdinger. The blade helps him last hit much easier with his wrenches. The Exposed Weakness Mastery is particularly powerful in teamfights, as the brainy one will be tossing damage at your enemies willy-nilly. You'll be buffing your allies' damage without even trying. When choosing summoner spells, you have a few options. My personal favorites are Flash and Teleport, Flash being particularly necessary as Heimerdinger lacks any sort of escapes on his own. Teleport allows him some ganks, greater pushing ability, and of course the ability to hop right back to where he was sieging as if nothing ever happened. Ghost is also a great option for much the same reason, and the ability to kite his opponents better. 
Ignite is not a favorite of mine, but if you're still trying to be bursty with Heimer, it's a good choice. Exhaust is a great support option, especially as it can slow people in your field of turrets. Now, before we move on, we need to make some quick notes about your turrets for understanding, because they interact really weirdly with items. First of all, once a turret is placed, its stats are permanent. The higher Heimerdinger's level, the more health and defenses it will have. The higher the abilities level, and the more ability power Heimerdinger has, the more damage they will do. But these only matter when he sets it down. If he wants stronger turrets, he'll have to place new ones. Furthermore, the basic turret attacks don't apply on hit effects or spell effects, but the lasers will apply spell effects. So things like Rylai's Crystal Scepter and Leandri's Torment will only apply to the lasers. The other spells act normally though, fortunately. Also, they count as minions for all purposes. While this has some negative side effects, namely that they can be destroyed with Smite or consumed by Nunu, etc., it has a particularly awesome item interaction that we'll get to in just a moment. Now, when building Heimerdinger, I like to start with a Doran's Ring, along with potions and the trinket of your choice. You can also start with boots or armor if the situation calls for it, but the ring really is your best option, giving health, damage, and really keeping you at maximum mana all through the laning phase. The first major item that I like to rush for is Banner of Command. With its new stats of 20% cooldown reduction and a ton of AP, it's a perfect fit for Heimerdinger. That interaction we mentioned earlier? Right here. That banner makes your turrets 15% more powerful. The turrets are most of your damage, so this might as well read, you are 15% more powerful. The Promote Active is great as well, and overall the item contributes to Heimerdinger's already powerful pushing capabilities. For boots, I prefer Sorcerer's Shoes. Ionian Boots of Lucidity are also an option if you want to rush for 40% cooldown as quickly as possible, but other items can get you there too. Morellonomicon will in particular, or Athene's Unholy Grail if you find that you are somehow still rapidly running out of mana. Either of those build out of Fiendish Codex, so you can get that first on your way before making your decision. Zonia's Hourglass is a must-have on Heimerdinger. He's quite squishy, but you can't kill him if he's invincible. Plus, your turrets keep on firing while you're golden. Abyssal Scepter would be its magic resistance counterpart, though the aura won't be as useful as with some other casters. No one wants to be near Heimerdinger long enough for that to matter. You might instead consider Twin Shadows, which not only helps you scout, but also slows people stuck in your turret field. Rabadon's Death Cap, as always, is amazing on any caster. Rylai's Crystal Scepter adds some otherwise lacking health-based tankiness and gives you slows. Remember, only the lasers on your turrets will get it, but your rockets can still do it. If you still need to get tankier, might I suggest Guardian Angel? Much like Zonya's, your turrets will stick around and keep firing while you revive. Lastly, you might also consider Rod of Ages and Void Staff. Both can be good, but don't fit in with my standard setup per se. Rod of Ages you would want to rash ASAP, delaying all the other suggestions. Void Staff I don't think fits very well, as Heimerdinger isn't meant to be a burst caster, but that's up to you. Also, if you plan to play Heimerdinger as a support, start with an Ancient Coin, which becomes a Talisman of Ascension. This takes the place of one of your cooldown reduction items, and gives you a team-wide speed boost. I much prefer this over starting with Spell Thief's Edge, as your turrets run the risk of accidentally stealing your ally's farm and shutting off the edge's passive. When playing Heimerdinger, choosing your skills wisely is very important. In most cases, you will of course want to upgrade UPGRADE as often as possible. You will also, almost always, want to start with your turrets and max those out first. However, this is a terrible idea versus certain opponents. Champions such as Ziggs can destroy your turrets near instantaneously, at which point you are mostly just giving him free gold. In cases where your opponents are destroying your turrets constantly, take the first point in this and instead max out your rockets. This will allow you to trade at range, but is more mana intensive. The grenade I like to take a point in early and max out last. The stun utility is great, but doesn't scale with level. If you are supporting with Heimerdinger, start out with a point in your grenade, then max out turrets first and grenades second so that you can use them more often. Heimerdinger has an amazingly strong laning phase, and is very difficult to gank thanks to his turrets. 
If possible, be sure to keep three turrets up at all times, spaced in such a way that area abilities can't hit more than one, but close enough together that they overlap. The more turrets that can hit your opponent, the better a place it is for Heimerdinger to stay. You can be as aggressive or passive as you'd like, either placing them just outside the range of your opponent's tower to keep them under it, or behind your own minion waves, leaving you a safe place to farm with enough space to run if necessary. Simply keep on farming and poke away with your rockets when you can. If you get your opponents low enough, stun them with a grenade and blow them away with a rocket swarm. Ganking Heimerdinger is again very difficult, but it's important as Heimer to not always run away from the fight. Sure, you may be squishy, but if you're inside your turret nest, just kite them around a bit, stun them, and just watch them die. Heimerdinger's evolution turrets are high priority targets for towers, meaning that even if there are minions to shoot, it would much rather shoot your turrets instead. You can't blame it really, your turrets shoot back. Your turrets are really, really good at taking down towers. However, unless you attack a champion, the turret will not try and choose a new target until its current one is dead. Thus, it's really important when taking towers to wait till it targets a fresh minion before placing your turrets. Better still is a siege minion. Three turrets and a siege minion wave can easily take out a tower in mere seconds. The Donger thoroughly enjoys hiding in bushes. Setting up a turret nest in one can make it very dangerous for your opponents to walk in or even walk near. Try it, it's fun. When in team fights, Heimerdinger does not want to jump in. He never, ever wants to be in the middle of the fight. Much like a marksman, he wants to skirt around the edge, setting up turrets for suppressing fire and tossing in missiles and grenades where appropriate, using their upgraded versions when necessary. Always be thinking about which upgraded ability you want to use in a given situation. Because remember, if it's on cooldown, you can't use the upgraded version. If you do get jumped, kite them as long as you can, and try to remain in range of your turrets. Your allies should also fight in range of your turrets wherever possible. Remember, turrets equals safety. Here's a cool trick for you. Heimerdinger can place turrets over walls. This is important for a lot of things, one of which is simply helping leash for your jungler. Be sure to remind them to let the turret tank shots for them and then die, otherwise you might end up stealing their buff. You can also use this to check Baron or Dragon over walls, or join fights you otherwise wouldn't. If played as a support, Heimerdinger's job is to zone your enemies away from farming with his turrets and rockets. Likewise, use your turrets as free wards, and to set up kills with his grenades. And beyond the laning phase, he works much like he does otherwise. With all the gold supports can get now, he's still very capable of pushing towers and providing backline support in teamfights. Heimerdinger is a complicated, tactical, and above all, fun champion. Place your turrets right, push towers, and support your team and you will lead them to victory. So thanks for watching everyone! If you've enjoyed this guide, please let me know by hitting the like button. Speak up in the comments below if you have advice or questions, we're all here to learn. Subscribe for future content including champion guides, gameplay guides, and other possibly not lol content. Follow me on Twitch for streams and Twitter and Facebook to see what else is going on. Till next time, I've been Gin, and you've been watching me talk about a video game. Go forth and conquer! For great science! I came to demonstrate the theory of a rocket blast to your skull. Compared to me, you've got the brain chemistry of an animal. You're poorly designed for this, my mind is simply beautiful. You've never seen a champ like me, my tactics so unusual. To deterministic world, I calculate your every move. Premises manipulated to a conclusion using complex proofs. I'm the best you've ever seen, number one hero. You can find my IQ on the part of the bell curve with the axis value approaches zero. Easily cover the lane, turret drop machine.